Hi, I'm Lorena and I wanted to do a tutorial on how to make a half square triangle block and that's what I have behind me. It's a quilt with different half square triangle blocks in it. Uh, before I do that, I need to teach you how to make half square triangles. There's two ways that I'm going to do this tutorial and one of them is by ruler work. So the supplies you're going to need are, you're going to need a ruler and you're going to need something to be able to mark your ruler with so that you have the exact size of the half square triangle that you want to make which is this tape you can use painters tape or scotch tape and the next thing you're going to need is a pen this is a friction pen that dissolves when it's been ironed or it disappears you can use chalk you can use a water soluble marking pen it doesn't matter it's whatever your preference is but those are the three things that you're going to need Another thing that I'm going to do a uh, teaching on is thangles. And what it is, what thangles are is a paper foundation on how to make half square triangles. The beauty of thangles are is that they are already marked and so this is what it looks like. This also comes in a roll and let me rotate it. Um, and it has already the marking grids so that you can make your half square triangles. What the beauty of these are is that once you have sewn them and cut them, they should be the exact size that the thangles say they are. Um, it does save you a couple steps, but you do use a lot more fabric. And it's just mainly preference. Um, I like them because I did a, a teaching on um, the, it's called a crown of thorns block. And a lot of my students uh, really like this a whole lot better than doing the ruler work because anytime you make half square tri triangles with ruler work, you have to make sure that they're the exact size that you sewn them to be. And with these foundations, they already, once you iron them, they say that because it has a paper foundation on them, that the fabric is less likely to stretch and it doesn't shift as much because there's that paper foundation keeping it in position. So those are going to be the two things that I'm going to teach on. And then after that, I'm going to teach on how to make the half square triangle block. So have a great day, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial on the roller work. So first of all, I got two pieces of fabric that I wanted to make my half square triangles with. And I'm going to go ahead and kiss them again. Um, I want three inches of half square triangles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my fabric four inches square and so the reason they say you can do I think it's three and a half or three and seven eighths but I really don't like messing with fractions and I don't mind using that extra fabric so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my fabric and I'm gonna make sure that I have a four inch square so here's my four inch square and what I'm going to do with this ruler is you cut diagonal, you draw a line diagonally on the diagonal. You draw a line on the diagonal. And what they say is from your solid line you move over one fourth to one side and draw dashed lines. And it doesn't matter how you do it, and hopefully you can see it. on the camera. And there, that's what you do. Now, they do have this ruler that is made specifically for this, but it's kind of the same concept. You draw dashed lines in here and then draw a solid line and you sew on your solid lines. But you don't need to buy this when you can do it without needing it. So here I am with my fabric that I already marked. And so what I've, um, I'm going to head and what I learned that this area of your foot is considered a fourth from the needle to here is a fourth. And from the needle to this edge is a fourth. And so you can um, use both sides. So as you sew on your dashed line, on this machine you have to pull your fabric, or your thread, I'm sorry. So here I am.
So now that you have your piece sewn, what you do is you go ahead and cut your center line from corner to corner. And so here is your half square triangle. Okay, so here I have my two pieces that I just sewn and I already trimmed them. What I'm gonna do is iron them and we're gonna go ahead and set the seam. And we're gonna open them and usually I open on the dark on top. We're gonna move that because I want the dark um, area to have the seam. Meaning, I want my seam to lean towards the dark area. And now we're gonna trim our blocks. Here are, we have the half square triangles that we just ironed. And what I wanna do is I wanna trim them off. And that's why I went ahead and I showed you that tape. I don't know if you could see it better this way. And I want a three inch half square triangle. So when my half square triangle is on the block, it's going to be two and a half inches. And so I'm going to use this line mark on top of the seam line. And I know my blocks are gonna be bigger than, um, than I wanted. And I do that on purpose because half, um, Fabric on the bias when you're sewing half square triangles is usually on the bias and what happens is it shifts and it moves a little bit when you're sewing and also when you're ironing. And so I want to have that extra trim, trim space but you're not going to waste your uh, scrap fabric because I'm going to show you how, what you can do with it after this. So here I'm going to cut from here and cut this edge and then I'm going to rotate it. And you're going to also, and see, you want to be right, you have your tape right under the black line of the three. Or whatever color your line is on your ruler. And the reason I like the tape is after a period of time, you're going to be doing this a lot. And your eye starts to get confused on what line you're supposed to cut on. And so there's one, and I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And I want to come in a little bit since I have the space so that I know that there is a straight edge all around my half square triangle square. And so here's my grid line. Here's my grid line and here's my grid line. And so that's how you do half square triangles with rulers.